Hey guys, this is Guillermo Larcón, founder and creative director for Midland the Video Game. So um, today I want to show you a little bit about, you know, behind the scenes of recreating these hyper-realistic characters. You know, it's very, very important for us as we make a video game about the ancient Mexica people is to really, truly try to go back to the origins, really try to go back to the investigations and to try to really uh, depict these characters as they once looked, you know, um, we had to do a lot of investigations into, for example, some of the facial features and, you know, how how would they actually would look, how would they, you know, for example, how would a person with, uh, you know, usually standing in front of the sun for long periods of time, um, like how would their skin will like reflect into that over the years so for example in this area you can see some of these moles these are caused by a you know usually by age and also by long exposures to the sun so um, these are some of the details that you know are very very important the tiny little details that usually um, can tell the story and usually you know they're a little bit more hyper realistic um, again um, some of the details in this case you can see these like little veins popping out in this area usually these are caused by some kind of skin irritation or you know again long exposure to the sun so um, again also you can see some of these like uh, wrinkles but at the same they're more like kind of like acne or um, you know like you know per perhaps you know this some of these warriors or Tlatuani priests or something they you know th th you can see that they some of them had like a really intense life so uh, we really really try to um, um, you know show some of those uh, details of you know to create a, a, a more elaborate uh, story uh, based on each individual character um, you know during Mikland's um, NPC uh, a open world uh, interaction there's gonna be you know hundreds of NPC characters roaming around the open world and so our goal is to truly try to you know get down to the individual level and to show a little bit of the details of each individual character you know and um, so yeah, so let's uh, let me show you a little bit more about this. Uh, for example, some of these features. Uh, again, uh, this character for is probably somewhere on his maybe late sixties or fifties. You know, life expectancy in Mesoamerica was like somewhere like between forty. So, um, yeah, you can see some of the heavy wrinkles. So, uh, you know, you can assume that this character is already somewhere on his uh, you know late fifties or sixties. So. Um, yeah pretty much uh here you can see some of the uh again some of the wrinkles as, as well and deteriorations and you know skin imperfections and stuff like that it is it, some scars over in this area as you can see and you know yeah this is pretty much like what makes a hyper realistic character you know the little tiny details that tell the story and you know uh, tell the passage of time which is a very something very very important when you're telling a story and you know this is still a work in progress but you know we're in the process of for example uh, you know put some uh, some kind of uh, you know those like very large earrings that the people of Mesoamerica used to wear in the in, in that specific time period so this is still a work in progress but you know we wanted to show you a little bit of what it takes uh, to recreate these hyper realistic characters and a little bit about like our mission as a as a uh, as a game development company is to truly try to you know show how the ancient Mexica people used to look uh, during that time you know without like whitewashing it and you know uh, simplifying it and and uh, it's very very important for us if we were going to make a video game about the ancient people of Mexico is to truly go down to the details and to uh, show some of the uh, um, these details that you know that make a, a character uh, more believable and stuff like that so um, here you can see some of the uh, details on the hands um, we apply some of the you know as you can see some kind of redness uh, over, over in this area we'll figure some of this redness could be you know maybe again maybe like some kind of like 
um, you know, exposure to the sun or maybe uh, some, uh, you know, something that happened in a bottle or something like that. Um, here you can see uh, we put some kind of, uh, you know, like red dots here and there. So these red dots, we will assume they could be like maybe like mosquito bites or something like that or like insect bites. Um, here we put them like all across this chest for this specific character. A uh, little bit of tiny little hairs growing here. So as you know, uh, the ancient uh, Mesoamerican people didn't really um, uh, have long beards and stuff like that. Obviously, they did had some kind of a small type of beard, but um, but they just didn't. That was not the, the the style, so they didn't really wear it. They would, they, you know, um, so. Again, uh, there's still a work in progress, but um, we want to just kind of show you a little bit about, you know, what it takes to create some of these uh, hyper-realistic characters, and um, we're we're thinking for the near future to show um, maybe uh, some of our pipeline process you know what it takes to create some of these characters you know we go in from like using different tools and uh, you know for example uh, some this character in this case was created from a drawing uh, one of our concept artists uh, actually uh, drew this so and um, and for this character I took that um, drawing and I recreated that into a hyper realistic character and so pretty much, uh, you know, the usual the whole process is going from like a, a drawing or, you know, capturing a f photogrammetry of like, you know, a, a photo from like a, a real life person and then try to do some kind of like projection mapping into the uh, base model. And so uh, in this case, uh, you know, our whole pipeline process is we we use, for example, a um, ZBrush and in ZBrush brush we can create some of the uh, base mesh you know for example uh, some of the uh, facial features where you also use um, we use iClone and character creator with from Reolution in order to you know bring bring together all these like incredible textures and stuff like that um, then f from that process we use uh, a, a combination between a Mari to recreate some of the XYZ uh, textures to uh, create a lot of these like normal maps and stuff like that in order to you know give these characters a sense of uh, of realism so um, for some characters usually it takes us somewhere between like maybe a couple of hours to like this one uh, a couple of days so it all depends on the type of uh, uh, you know uh, story of each individual character so most NPC characters are usually you know they go through an op optimization process like using LODs in order to um, you know reduce uh, low poly count so um, in this case, uh, for some of these uh, hero type characters that will be featured in cinematic sequences or, you know, on, so on the trailer or stuff like that, we really want to go down into the details and so just to show a little bit more about our entire pipeline and our process and how Miklan and, and our team, we are so devoted to you know, try to really truly replicate replicate uh, the ancient life of the uh, uh, Mexica people. So, um, pretty much this is it. So, wanted to just give you guys heads up into kind of what we've been working on, and and I hope um, you guys can appreciate uh, you know the insane amount of labor that goes into each individual character, and the you know the research, the investigation. And and, and you know the whole process that it takes to um, create this like hyper realistic video game um, so we look forward to uh, your comments and suggestions uh, we want to thank all of our patron fans and and uh, all of our supporters in in uh, you know that support our project all over the world and Mexico and and, and US and stuff like that so um, yeah so pretty much uh, we want want to uh, we plan to create more of these type of uh, behind the scene videos uh, but um, 
so yeah stay tuned and we look forward to show you a little bit more about you know what it takes to create some of these characters um, for the next video I we want to show you how it looks already animated and um, and you know we're using motion capture using the Rococo uh, mocap suit so yeah we can't wait to show you um, you know all of these characters already completed so uh, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned Ometeo. <laughs>